Best in the world. Yeah, it's magic. You can do anything you want there. You want to see it? Sure, let's go. Danny, where are you off to? Just going to play with my kid Janine. Okay, but come straight home and don't talk to strangers. I know. Dinner's less than an hour and Grandma's coming over. I made your favorite, spaghetti. Oh, great. Bye, Bob. Bye, sweetie. She liked another jerk better. Wow, what's your dad do? He's dead. He, he's not dead. He left us. How'd the door open? The wind did it. You coming, Janine? This isn't it. What do you mean? We'll take you there. Don't be afraid. The playhouse will give you anything you want. on the scene reported 
sustained airstrikes along the front lines as well as a missile attack on a small desert village a few miles from the border. Fighting on the ground is also reported to be heavy and in some areas thought to be the bloodiest since last winter's offensive. The conflict between the two countries has continued on a small scale for months, despite all UN attempts at peace. One official was quoted as saying, the war is going to be a long, bloody affair. Locally, another missing child has been reported in the small community of Perkinsville. Search parties made up of police and concerned citizens have begun combing the area in an exercise that is becoming terrifyingly familiar. With a live report from the scene, our special correspondent, Krista Winchell. Once again, heartbreak and fear struck another family here in Perkinsville. Nine-year-old Danny Green disappeared this afternoon on the way to the corner market. This is the ninth missing child reported here in the last five months. Police remain baffled since they can find no links or any trace of those abducted children. I have with me two of the last children who saw Danny, Mike and Janine Carlson. Could you tell me what happened? Well, we were just playing on our front lawn and stuff, and we got thirsty, and there was nothing good in the fridge, and Danny said he would go to Sam's. That's the little market down the street. Right. So we gave him our allowance money, and he went off, and he didn't come back. We're not mad about the money part. We just want him to come back, you know, safe. And what about you, sweetheart? Does this frighten you? We're both scared, and we don't want to get taken away. It's bad enough what's going on there, much less putting those terrified children on display. Police Lieutenant Britano has assured me everything possible is being done. All we can do is pray for the children's safe return. This is Crystal Winchell reporting. What do those sickos want with those kids anyway? I'm sure the police are doing the best they can. Let's get our agendas organized for tomorrow. Ah, Mickey, you're seeing someone about this top hat, aren't you? Yeah, some businessman from Atlanta. He's in town for a sales convention. He's gonna bring it with him. Uh -huh. I've got an appointment with the curator of the museum to find out more about this Indian sacrificial knife. Ryan, how are you doing tracking that playhouse? The guy who bought it, Whitson, yeah. he um, sold it to a guy he worked with at a garage sale named Brad Farrell. Did you talk to him? Well, he got fired. Uh, Whitson said he's living out of town somewhere. Well, it looks like we'll get at least one object in the vault tomorrow, and that'll be one less injustice in the world. Let's get some supper and start early tomorrow. Cops checked our story. Here's a glass for you. What the hell did you break now? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. Who did it? I'm sorry. I did it. it slipped. Fine. Then you pay for it out of your allowance. What allowance? You haven't given me any. Don't want you try to make me feel guilty. You think it's easy trying to raise you two brats and a waitress's salary? Mom, what time are you coming home tonight? I've got a date. I'm not coming home tonight. I'll be going straight into work tomorrow. Again? You mean I can't have a life? You know how tough it is to find a man who wants someone with kids? Your father was a lot smarter than me. He got the hell away from you both. Now stay out of my room and be in bed before midnight. You got it? You got it? Got it. Spending the night in the playhouse. He'll feed us, he'll do whatever we want it to. Jack, I got it! Oh, congratulations. He handed it right over, no attachment whatsoever. I wish the objects were all this easy to get back. Uh, 
I'm glad one of us is having some luck anyway. What, no progress on the Indian knife? Well, the curator of the museum confirms that it is sacrificial, but I still haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue as to who's sacrificing what or why. Thank you very much. We'll see you in about an hour. Well, what do you find out? <sighs> well, it seems our Mr. Farrell has done some drifting. He settled down in the suburbs about six months ago. Yeah, but you did talk to him, didn't you? Yeah, that was him. I think I woke him up there, too. Has he still got the playhouse? No, he wouldn't say, but he did give me his address. I told him we'd be right over. Hey. Maybe we're going to get two objects in one day. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this in the vault. Wait for me. Come on, Janine. We've got lots of time to play before supper. So we're going to have to find somebody else. No, look, it's not being fair anymore. It wants too much. We're going to get in trouble. It won't let us in if we don't give it other kids. Look, I don't care. Come on, let's run away. Far away. No one else will ever take care of us like the Playhouse. Please. Why? It's all we have. Let's make the Playhouse happen. Let's bring it some new friends. Guys, look. This is the area all the kids have been disappearing from. Jack, you think this has anything to do with the playhouse? <sighs> Which way is Farrell's place? It's a right here. It's like this really cool place. I mean, it's you a could play like playhouse. A playhouse? Yeah. yeah, and you can do it. You can get want anything. It. It's toys? like magic. Yeah. Toys. Anything. You can fly. You can anything. You can get candy. You want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Now? Take fun. Come on. Let's go. It's like it's over. You can just take a break. You can get my wife is good. Right? be afraid of. Don't 
nothing in the world can be yours here. Isn't there something you've always wanted but your chief parents wouldn't let you have? Come on, don't be shy. What? A pony. A Susie rock star with her complete wardrobe and accessories and her concert stage set with all her friends. Look. Miss Farrell, Ryan Daly and I called you about an old playhouse. Right. Can I see it? It ain't here. I used to go out with this broad. She had a couple of kids. I, I gave it away. Hey, who is it? None of your business. Now take your shower and hit the road. So, this playhouse must mean a lot to you. Uh, well, to be honest, my uncle sold it without consulting my wife and I. We were kind of hoping to give it to our children to see what we're expecting. Yeah, well, maybe I can get it back. How much are you willing to pay? Whatever's fair. How much you want? Nice car. Must be doing pretty good, huh? Oh, it belongs to my father-in-law. He's had it for a long time, and it's... Five grand. Take it or leave it. Five grand? I don't know if it's worth five grand. Fine, forget it. Well, wait a minute. I, um... Just give me a chance to get it, huh? Good. Cash only, okay? You know where to find me. Hey, where's the soap? What's your problem? How have you got such a big love? Well, sorry, I blew it. We gotta give him five grand or he won't tell us where it is. Five thousand dollars? Maybe there's another way. You two could try talking to the parents of the missing kid. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> of course, my personal favorite thing I've ever done in my whole life is torturing an animal. Why? I've been subscribed. Look at me. Normal, healthy, well-adjusted, and it's because of that. When did you start considering yourself normal? Where the hell have you been? The playhouse. Don't lie to me, Michael. I was out there twice, and you weren't there. 
You keep wandering the streets, you're gonna get kidnapped like those other cool kids. Not that you would care. What? Nothing. Mom, what's for dinner? Nothing. I gave yours to Earl. You care more about your jerk boyfriends than about us. <gasps> Didn't hurt. Hello. Yes? Who? Oh, Brad. Yeah, I remember you. How you doing? Yeah. The Playhouse? Yeah, they still have it. Yeah, by all means, you can take it back anytime you like. Yeah, it's still in the backyard. Uh-huh. Bye, don't be such a stranger. All right, bye-bye. Did that hurt? Maybe now you'll show some respect for your mother. Go on and enjoy it. You're not gonna have your little hideout much longer. Brad's coming right over. <sighs> Which one is this one? Danny Green, he just disappeared. So if this one's more willing to talk than the last one. Hello, Mrs. Green. I'm so sorry to bother you at this time, but we need to ask you a couple questions about what happened. Who are you? I'm Mickey Foster, this is Ryan Dalian. We're just concerned citizens, we'd like to help. Mrs. Green, does your son own a playhouse? No, why? Do any of his friends? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Wasn't your son playing with some other children just before he disappeared? Yes, but the police already spoke with the Carlson children. Where do they live? Six doors up on the left. What's this all about? Do you know something? Not yet, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know. We just want to see the children home safely. Thank you very much. Doesn't matter. 
Now they've entered our world. They're gonna play by our rules. Let's have some fun with them. And the house can have them. <laughs> This is it? Oh, this is perfect. That's just what I needed. Yeah, okay, thanks, Kai. I really appreciate you lending me a track like this. I'm gonna make some serious money on that playhouse and I'll, I'll cut you in for it 50 50, okay? Uh, Promise. Was it broken, broken, man? You following me? Mr. Farrell, it's very important we get our hands on that playhouse. Yeah? Well, I don't think you're gonna get it without paying my price. We're not gonna cheat you. That's right. And you're not gonna follow me either. <coughs> How do we get here? Let us out. We can't do that. We miss all the fun. It's a special day here in the playhouse. Untie us. Come on, please. You can't leave. We're having a party in your honor. These are specially for you. Mr. Buddy. You're a private class. Much more! You get in there. Get out of here. This is ours. You got a sales slip proof of purchase? But you gave it to us. Yeah, and I'm taking it back. I just found out it's worth a lot. Certainly more than I ever got from your old lady. You want to know why it's worth so much? Come inside, you children. Get out of here. I'll find out for myself. What do we do? You got to help. You've got to stop. Get out of here, kid! I said beat it! I don't know, officer. Maybe they were legitimately concerned, but being strangers and asking all these questions about if Danny had a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Request for backup south of River. Children, put your hands behind your head. Hold on there, pal. You're reaching so wrong. Let go of the children. Get those hands behind your head. Now. Uh. 
Look, I, I'm sure this looks suspicious, but, uh... That man, he wants to hurt us. Make him go away. Shh, it's all right. You're going to be fine. He said he was going to kill us. That's a lie. These kids know me. I, I, I know their mother. Please, don't let him hurt us. Don't worry, he won't. Cop him. Looks like we finally caught the scumbag. Oh, guys, I didn't do nothing. What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go! Please, let me go! Come on! I just can't Sure, you're lieutenant. If I knew anymore, I'd tell you. Are you sure? Let's be told. Could you come down to the station in about an hour and make an ID? Certainly. We found him? I believe so. We also think he's our child abductor. Where'd they nail him? 142 South River. He was arrested for trying to pull some kids out of their own backyard. Kids okay? Well, they were, but now they can't find the kids. It's just using you to gain its power. <laughs> You're letting it keep those children against their will. You're wrong. They all said they wanted to stay here forever. So either you do what we say, or you'll fry like a couple of hot dogs. <laughs> this old playhouse and we wanted to buy it. Liar! You know what power it has and you want to take it from us, don't you? Mike, 
Mike, why can't we be friends? We care about you. You don't care about us. Nobody does. And you know what? We don't care. Do we, Janine? But you know what does care? This playhouse. We give it all those stupid happy kids and we get anything we want. Watch this. I was gone less than an hour, and I am very aware of everything my kids do. If they're not in their room, they're out in this damn playhouse. We already checked the playhouse, ma'am. Well, let's check again. We gotta hurry. Fork is mad at us. I hate you. let the children disappear in the first place. And I would call that poor police work. Well, maybe you'd like to tell me why you weren't there to look after them. I'd call that neglect. I've already read two reports on how much you care for your children. You find anything? Was that there before? No, sir. You can't fool the house. It only wants children. What do you want? No. Not her. It's what it wants, Mike. Mike! Mikey! You have to give it what it wants. Jack, what are you saying? Mike knows the deal. As long as you don't care, the house will give you anything. Hate keeps it alive. We'll go get other kids. It's too late for that. Choice, Mike. Tell your sister you hate her and regain your power. Tell those children that you love them, that you really care. But I don't! Mike, you can't be afraid to give love if you're ever expecting anyone to give it you back. I'm not afraid. I care about all of you. I love you. You see, Mike, it's working.
I'm gonna file a suit against the look, city Mrs. for it. and you can't do that. Lieutenant oh, no. Rattano. Sir, look. How did you get in there? You two are gonna pay big time for this little stunt. I'm afraid you're wrong. What these children need is love. Since you don't seem to be capable, I'm sure the courts will find someone who is. Some very joyful calls to make. Oh. I don't want to go through questioning like that ever again. I thought I'd never get out of there. What time is it, anyway? Uh, what would you like for breakfast? Oh. Jack, you think the police actually believed our story? Well, all I know is that they don't think that we're involved. <laughs> They'll be assembling and disassembling that playhouse a dozen times before returning it to us. What do you think they're gonna tell the press? Oh, some story about the kids hiding in the playhouse and uh, creating a little world of their own. It's not too far from the truth, at least as far as Mike and Janine are concerned. Oh, thank goodness those kids have no memory of what really happened. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, people never really listen to children or quirky antique dealers. What about Mike and Janine? What do you think's gonna happen to them? Like most child abuse cases, there'll be a hearing, and then the court will try and find them a, a good foster home. And believe me, I'm going to stay on this until they do. Jack, I'm glad I know you. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, that's very nice, and it's very reciprocated, but I think we really ought to get some sleep. Oh. You know, the power of a child's imagination can be really incredible. When the child is unloved, that power can be truly terrifying, can't it? Good night.